Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, two French sparkling wines in front of me. One, a rosé made from 100% Pinot Noir, and the other, a blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay Zero Dosage, I believe. Um, uh, but they're not from Champagne, they're from Jura, uh, from my producer called uh, Divin. Uh, I, I don't know whether it's Chateau Divin, it's Chant Divin. Uh, that's what it says on here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fabrice et Valérie Closet. Um, and um, without any further ado, I think they're both 2012 vintage. Yeah, Cremant de Jura 2012. Um, let's dig in. Now, zero dosage wines can be a little, sometimes a little bit on the meagre side. Uh, but when I stick my nose in here, and I don't know whether it's because uh, the Jura is in general probably a little bit warmer than. Uh, than the most of Champagne, uh, or whether it's it's to do with the high quality of the grapes, but it smells like it, it's going to be quite a uh, rich style, and I get a yeasty, bready character coming through. It's one of those where the fruits may be uh, in the background, uh, but it's this yeasty, um, yeasty, richy, com rich complexity. There is a little bit of um, maybe toasted pineapple and and, and uh, things like that in there, but. Uh, Yes, it's this yeastiness that uh, that's, uh, springs out to attract me, first of all. I come to taste it, and uh, I'm getting what I call a, um, a caramelised apple. You know, if you do a tart tatin, and you get that little bit where... Uh, the, um, the the apples have caramelised, um, uh, but there's still a little bit of bite and crunch about them. There's that. There's this yeasty richness. Um, the finish, yes, you, you can feel that dryness coming through on the finish, and there'll probably be some people who, who, who find, find it a little bit on the uh, um, on the tart side. But I quite like that. I quite like its um, uh, its, its its bite. And uh, uh, to just if it was just bite, uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. But because there's this uh, richness of fruit, but also this yeasty, uh, lazy complexity going on there. Uh, it works really nicely, and uh, I'm sort of going to have another sip. Yeah, and there's this nuttiness coming through as well. Um, that little bit of, um, slight bit of oxidation, but oxidation in a good way. Um, that a little bit of the slightly burnt sugar character hangs around in your mouth, and um, tasty wine. Uh, let's try the rosé, same vintage, not quite sure of the blend, but, um, but Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Give it a whirl. I said I got that wrong, it's 100% Pinot Noir. Um, and uh, you can certainly get that um, strawberry juiciness of the Pinot fruit coming through. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to be quite as um, aristocratic a wine as the previous one. Uh, maybe it's slightly higher dosage here. I, think it, I don't think it says zero dosage or anything on there. No, brute, uh, and brute means various things around the world. Sometimes it means dry, sometimes it means off dry, just to confuse you. Uh, but here, uh, there is that slight, yeah, what they call the developed wild strawberry character. Um, it feels like it, there's going to be some uh, freshness about it, but it's also showing a little bit of, um, of, of, of maturity. It feels like a, yeah, I mean they're the same vintage, but it feels like an older, older wine than the uh, than, than, than the, uh, the the Zero Dosage one. It's juicy, rounder, richer style, uh, richer in terms of fruit sweetness than the previous one. Maybe I don't notice that um, rich lazy character that I was getting in the uh, uh, in, in the in, in the the regular one, the regular zero dosage. What shall I call it? In the zero dosage one, um, and um, uh, so the, my, the finish is left. I'm left with it's something that's ever so slightly fruit syrupy, a little bit of that rosehip syrup, um, and uh, the strawberry ooze. You know when you get a a, a, a pan and plonk some strawberries in there with a bit of sugar and half a mini uh, on something this liquid oozes out and that, that that's the type of character there ever so slightly cooked strawberry juice uh, I prefer the zero dosage one uh, I think there'll be lots of people who for whom it's the other way around uh, I just find, I just like that the precision and, uh, uh, and and that crispness and bite there and um, I'd be very interested to see what would have happened if they'd done a zero dosage style on the rosé but um, uh, they're both pretty good wines and at a price where uh, there's not much champagne around at this price and that that you can find at this price uh, is certainly not of this quality. I do like them. See you soon.